Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac like Tracks. This is going to be Quick Tip 160. And today's Quick Tip, it's been a while, but we do have some new information on machine. Today's Quick Tip goes over the new machine update. There's been an update just in the last few days. And it's a machine update. It's also a firmware update. So I want to go over that with everybody in case you weren't aware. Um, a lot of times you might not get a notification by email or anything like that. So you got to kind of keep your heads up on these. And I wanted to show you all something. Uh, this is my channel right here, but um, there's been a machine update and a firmware update. You can actually click right here on the forum on side of machine. And if you click right here, the official update status, it will let you know right here that machine on the uh, looks like last Thursday, about four or five days ago, just went ahead on the 20th and released a new update. It's 2.8.3. They've made a lot of improvements. A lot of them have to do with the uh, samples.com and also have to do with some of their other hardware controllers like the uh, keyboards and other stuff. They're just trying to make sure that everything works together. Also, some browser improvements for the um, different browser directories and samples and the way that they're tagged inside a machine. So well, these are all the changes right here that have been displayed but I also wanted to show y'all something else that y'all might not be aware of and that's that we have a firmware update and so um when I first got machine um, it came with this little thing right here which was the MC3 updater you can see the file version 1.00 I got this um, all the way back in 2017 and it's just a little updater I saved it on my C drive and when you run it it'll show you what version of firmware you have and it'll update it the new version is 1.4.3 and um, hopefully you're not like me to where you have this updater and you can see when I pull it up it doesn't actually allow me to update it says there is no new firmware so I was actually under the impression there were no updates but when you do a little bit of reading it does mention that there is a update for the firmware so I wanted to show y'all something if you click right here on this file this is the support page for machine and you go to downloads you can go right down here to downloads and you can go right here to the machine controller and as you see on May of this year 2019 they made a new firmware updater for machine MK3 so you do need this if you have the old updater it won't work so they made a new one just uh, well, hell a month ago so this is what you need right here to update to the new version of firmware so make sure that you go ahead and get this I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for this but you do need the new updater I went ahead and downloaded the new updater just like the old one and um, when I go down to the the new updater I can open it right here and you can see the MC3 updater um, when I run it right here you can see that immediately it's it shows me that there is an update for the machine so you have to make sure that you download the new updater um, if you don't have the new updater you might not be able to see that you have an update available but there is a new update for the firmware and the firmware is basically the hardware portion of machine so make sure you look into that also make sure you go and you download the new version which is 2.8.3 of machine so that's today's quick tip. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, appreciate everybody joining my channel and watching. The quick tips only come when there's something new to share about machine. And this is new. This just came out about four or five days ago. So you may have not made this update yet. And you also need to make sure that you go to the downloads page and download the new firmware updater. It came out one month ago. I'm not sure why they don't make this more, uh, make people more aware of this. But this new updater, when you run it, after you downloaded it, it will see your version and it will allow you to update into the new version 1.4.3. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that myself and uh, replace that old updater with the new updater that we've downloaded today. And uh, you should do the same if you have the old updater and it's not showing an update available. Make sure you download the new one right here and go ahead and get that new update. All right, man, that's it for today. Make sure you check out my channel for other quick tips on how to use machine and Fruity Loops. Also, check out my custom MK3 template. This is a template. It's basically set up to allow you to control Fruity Loops and functions and screens using the machine MK3 hardware controller. I have a playlist where we show how that works. And I'm also making workflow videos. I'll make another one today. 
where it shows the workflow between machine and Fruity Loops. So that's it for the quick tip today. Make sure you update your firmware to version 1.4.3. Also update machine to version 2.8.3. Till next time. One.